Welcome to my Molo vlog. First things first, I hate when they put this oil and gravel down. It's the worst. If you've ever ridden a bike, you know. You get these troughs of gravel on the right hand side in the middle and in between the tires. The cars drive. It takes a while for it to get flattened out. We are riding a 1981 KZ550 A2 to be exact submodel. There are a few iterations of the KZ550. The Spectre and I think another model. This is the A2, not the first one they made, kind of the second generation. But it's a winner. It's been almost completely rebuilt from the bottom up by me and my son. And performing, I can't say flawlessly, but performing quite well for about five years. I can't say flawlessly because there have been a few issues. A broken clutch cable, my fault. Didn't have it adjusted right and it wore down up here and snapped. Right by the adjuster. Um, other than that, put a new clutch in. Again, that one wasn't my fault. It's just the original plates and it was worn out. I put a new master cylinder in, rebuilt and balanced the carbs. You can see that video on my channel. Two shocks on it as well. Um, anything that was worn got replaced, tires, chain, front and back brakes, cables, throttle cables. Not sure what's going on here. We are going to go past the Log Cabin Restaurant. We're in upstate New York, outside Buffalo. This is on a nice little creek with a waterfall. Some nice scenery while you have your drink or your lunch. Just wanted to show you my set up for taking video and audio for these rides. I use a $12 wireless lapel mic from Amazon. It's not the greatest, but it works. It's the only one I have right now. I plan on getting a better one. Doesn't need to be wireless because I'm using the audio recorder tucked in my pocket. Because getting audio from a GoPro is it's not impossible, but it isn't the greatest quality and you gotta put a hole in the case if you're using the case to get to the mic plug. So I'm using this now and hopefully the results are acceptable. Here's part of the creek that goes past that restaurant. Used to be an old amusement park here, Boulder Park. Kitty rides and stuff. Nice little summer joint. Long since gone. This was part of it too. Since replaced by the bigger and better amusement parks in the area. Darien Lake being the largest. Just down the road in Corfu. This bike was bought as a basket case. Been sitting outside for probably a year and a half, maybe two years. Out in the rain and weather, winter, summer. Replace the seat cover. And it was all sun baked and cracked. The originals were vinyl didn't hold up well.
but she runs good. Pretty quick. Not going to set any records, but with one person on it, it's fast enough. For me, anyway. Two up, it's a little slower. It's not her fault. The rider, I mean, not the bike. It's just a small engine. So pulling two, it works, but it's a little sluggish. It's alright, forces me to be safer with the rider on the back. That's probably zero to 60 in about nine seconds, maybe. <laughs> Bathtub planters. Oh, what's this, a wedding? Looks like a wedding. Too fancy to be a grad party. Be some headaches there tomorrow, as it should be. Oh, back to the bike. Where were we? I like the seating position. It's upright. Late years from a crotch rocket. It's probably in between a crotch rocket and a cruiser. Out of basically like sitting in a chair or probably halfway between my knee and my hip. So it's probably New York State Thruway. We won't be on there today. Avoid that with this bike. It's just too small to do uh, 65 or better. I can do 65, but when you got trucks passing out, it's a little uncomfortable. Just no weight. Keep you anchored. I'd whip but a strong gut. It'll it'll kind of do this to you if you're just going straight out and saying, "Whoa, what was that?" Bike weighs probably 463 pounds, soaking wet.